Down to Sunday's green flag at Pocono Raceway has started. Despite threatening skies tonight, fans packed the track infield for the traditional fan fest. Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler is in Long Pond tonight for all the action. Mark, good evening. Fan Fest wrapped up a couple of hours ago. A number of drivers interacted with the ones who support them the most. Pocono Raceway's Fan Fest was delayed Friday evening as severe thunderstorms passed through Long Pond. But once the skies cleared up, the drivers came out. In three, two, one, go! It's a race outside their cars and on a much smaller stage, and it's all for the fans. That was great. First time doing it, I love it. I'm really not a Joey Logano fan, but I had a great time up there with him. Frank and his daughter played Name That Tune with the number 22 driver, Joey Logano, and Ty Dillon, driver of the number 13 car. You know, it's not your standard interview and just kind of, you know, going yeah, through the motions. Good. We get to have right. fun, play right. some games. So uh, it's always good for everybody when you do that. After finishing those games, the two drivers signed autographs for some diehard fans. Including Cindy Jesus, who has been waiting seven years to meet Logano and take a picture with him. Overwhelming. Overwhelming. Uh, I'm, I'm starstruck. Speechless. I didn't think I was going to freak out. I'm so excited. If you're a Logano fan or a, a Bush fan or whoever you may be, you know, we're, we're all here together. We're all having fun, you know, and I think that's what it's all about here. Three other drivers got the chance to interact with fans from across the country here at Pocono. The infield was filled with food and beer vendors for a great fan experience, all while waiting for the green flag to be waved on Sunday, something these folks can't wait for. I'm watching one of our drivers win. <laughs> the rain held off for Fan Fest, and it looks like it will be clear heading into race weekend. At Pocono Raceway in Long Pond, Cody Butler, Eyewitness News.